This video is how to set up and use a Coinbase smart wallet. I'll show you how to create the wallet, get some assets in here and move them around. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. So to set up a wallet, we need to come to wallet.coinbase.com. I'll leave that below as well. There's no app. There's no downloads you can make on a Chrome browser or through your app store. You have to go to that website for now anyway. And then from here, we're going to press create a smart wallet. And it's going to take us through and give us some options on how we actually create this. So from here, I'm going to press create a smart wallet. This is actually creating a smart contract wallet on the Ethereum blockchain or the layer twos as well. So what we're doing is using a pass key. A pass key is created through your Apple login or Google login. Microsoft have this as well. As long as you have uh, some device that you're using with biometrics, you can actually use this. So you can use it directly on your phone or on your computer. When you create this pass key wallet, you can actually use this on any of your devices and it's going to come up and say log in with your pass key. I'll explain more on that in a second. But from here, we just have to choose something. So you can create it on your Chrome pro profile. That's not a pass key. That's actually directly on this device. So you couldn't use it across all your devices. I would recommend either a phone or the keychain. If you're using Google, it would be Google Cloud. iPhone, uh, tablet or security key. That's going to give you a QR code or another way to actually log in. So you can use YubiKey if that's for you right here as well. Um, if you want to scan with your phone and use your face ID or touch ID, you can do that here. Or you can just do iCloud keychain if you're on the computer. So if I click this, it's going to say log in. This is going to create the pass key. Once I create this on my computer, this is going to be the pass key login across all of my devices. So you create the pass key once and all of your devices that link together will have access to this wallet through this one pass key, whether that's touch or face ID. So I'll use my biometrics and just create the wallet right here. Once that's done, it's literally going to log me into the wallet. I've created a wallet that I control and sign transactions with my pass keys. We've just created a smart contract wallet on top of the Ethereum blockchain. And so this wallet will only support blockchains that are EVM style. So the Ethereum blockchain, uh, Base, Optimism, Arbitrum, BNB Chain, Avalanche, Polygon, and so on. Uh, so if we go to settings, what we should see here is our address, and you can see it's an OX address. So it's only EVM style chains that are supported right here. Um, and we'll look at Base. If you go to settings, so smart wallet settings here, you can see some of the options. So you can actually um, buy some crypto uh, with your Coinbase account, and then it gets sent into your uh, wallet. Or you can receive crypto here, that is your wallet address. You can use this just like anything else. If you have a different uh, exchange like Binance or Bybit or something, you can simply just copy your address and send assets into your address just like normal. And you see pay with Coinbase balance right here. If you want to connect your Coinbase account, if you have one, connect it right here. And you can kind of use your balances interchangeably, send balances between your wallet and your centralized exchange address very easily. And I think base basically pay for this as well. So it's basically free to do that, but I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. So that's the settings and we have our assets here. Any crypto that you have, NFT, DeFi positions, you'll see them all in here, but it's coinbase.wallet.com and this is not a separate app or a download. The main thing to know about this type of wallet is that it uses pass keys to create the wallet and sign transactions. You have complete control over this. It's a decentralized wallet. Coinbase don't own pass keys. These are an industry standard across Google, Microsoft, and Apple. So if you have one of those devices, the pass key is created on your secure enclave in your device, and then it's encrypted with your biometrics. That encrypted password or key is then sent into the cloud so that you can use it across all of your devices. However, it's end-to-end -end encrypted, meaning Apple, Google, Microsoft can't decrypt the key. It's only your biometrics. That means do not ever delete this key. If you delete the pass key from your device, you'll never get access to the wallet again. So you have to keep it there. Luckily, you can't accidentally delete a pass key. You have to physically go in and delete the pass key. So pass keys are an industry standard. They're nothing to do with Coinbase, but that's how they're using uh, pass keys to actually create the wallet and let you sign transactions without uh, writing down a seed phrase or anything else. Coinbase make it easy to buy crypto on your centralized exchange account and then send it over to the smart wallet. If you do use a Coinbase account to buy a crypto, just press buy crypto here. It will take you through to what they call Coinbase on ramp. So if you have assets in your Coinbase account already, click transfer from Coinbase and you can send them over. Now I've got some Bitcoin in my Coinbase account. 
like it says here, you don't have any crypto. The reason being we can't use Bitcoin. It's the wrong blockchain. We need Ethereum style assets, ETH, USDC are the main ones that are supported and you can withdraw over. So if you press buy a new asset, you can just press the asset that you want to buy. And then if you have some funds in your account, you can see I've got some funds here. You can use those to buy directly. That's using the Coinbase exchange, though. It's pretty expensive. And so, you know, you may want to actually go directly into the exchange first and buy it using the pro or advanced trade feature, which has lower fees on Coinbase. I'll show you how to send some assets into your wallet from other exchanges, which is also fine. So we can go to our wallet up in the top right and then it's smart wallet here. And that's the address. And I'll press copy. This is an EVM wallet address. And so we need some ETH in our wallet. Now on the base network, some transactions are actually sponsored or paid for by base. So they're free and you won't need any gas. Also with smart wallet, applications can actually sponsor or pay for your transactions as well. And so you'll never need to pay gas. However, some applications won't. And so it's always good to have some ETH in the wallet to pay for transaction fees. So We'll use BASE as an example, but there are other networks supported here like Optimism, Arbitrum. So you're going to need some ETH in your wallet in any case. So we'll go over to my centralized exchange. We'll buy some ETH on there. And then I'm going to withdraw that into my smart wallet address, which is this one, and then select the network. I'm going to use BASE for this example, but you can use the other networks that are supported and that the Coinbase wallet says are supported in the settings. So I'll click BASE and then I'll just withdraw an amount into my wallet. So this is going to my address right here, which is a normal Ethereum address, but I'm sending it on the base network. And so that's going to show up in my wallet on the base network. If you want some uh, tutorial guides on how to buy ETH on centralized exchanges, I'll leave those below. I've got some links to deposit bonuses as well. If you're new to these exchanges, check them at the top of the description to get a deposit and trading bonus. Now we have some ETH in our smart wallet. We can swap it into other coins or use applications that are supported. So I've got that balance now. You can see that up at the top. And it tells me down here that it's on the base network. You can see Ethereum is the coin. And then bottom right is the network icon, which is base and my balance here. Um, so what we can do is swap that into another coin directly in the wallet. So in the top right hand corner, we can press swap and then choose the assets that you want to trade. So I'm going to trade on the base network. You can see up here it says Ethereum. I'm not on the Ethereum network. I don't have a balance there. So these are supported if you have balances. I'm going to choose base as it reads my balance. So I'm going to go back and you can see I've got some Ethereum here and some value to swap. I'm going to choose the asset. So you can you know, choose the assets that are here. I'll choose USDC and we can do $5. So we're going to swap $5 worth of ETH into USDC. Find best price. And we'll just go through and swap that. It's going to ask me to sign the transaction as well, which means that I have to use that pass key that we created. So here ETH into USDC. Slippage tolerance is fine for now. We'll just do this as an example. And there's a five cent fee. So swap. It's going to ask me to sign this transaction. We can see all the details as well. So I'm signing with my wallet on the base network. I'll confirm that. And this is the pass key that we have, right? So this is our wallet. And simply we sign a transaction with our touch ID, or if you're on a phone, it will be face ID or anything else. So that is actually signing the transaction with our pass key. And that's going to go through on the base blockchain as a swap. So that's gone through, as you can see. So now I have Ethereum and USDC in my wallet. As of making this video, Coinbase are sponsoring USDC sends, which means you can send USDC to another Coinbase wallet on base for free. So USDC, if you click that, shows you your balance, right? So I'm going to send this up in the top right, send. I'm going to send uh, USDC, this token. So send USDC, and then I'm going to choose a recipient. This has to be an address on the base network because uh, we're on base right now. So I'm going to paste in an address here and it says, is this an Ethereum address that you want to send to? So I'm going to press OK. Now, you just have to make sure that if you're sending on the base network, the other wallet accepts that asset on the base network. So if you know you've got someone else that has a smart wallet or another type of wallet that's using base, no problem. If you're using a centralized exchange, you have to be doubly sure that they accept the coin on the network that you're on, which is in this example base. But if you're sending from another network, you have to make sure that the centralized exchange accepts the coin on the network that you're sending. So for here, I'll choose an amount that I'm uh, going to send. So I'll send $3 to this. I'm going to preview send right here. It says that I'm sending USDC on base and I'm sending it to this wallet address. Wallet used is our wallet. The network is base. I can press confirm. You can see they're sponsoring transactions. There's no fee here. You just send $3 from your wallet to the other wallet address. 
Because this wallet is a smart contract, not every single dApp accepts connecting right now. In the future, I'm sure they all will, but for right now, there are a small set of dApps that you can use directly with this wallet. And these are gonna be on the Coinbase wallet page if you wanna go and see that. But I'll just show you an example of one that actually accepts this type of wallet being connected right now, which is Moonwell, which is lending borrowing. So if the dApp doesn't let you connect the wallet, it hasn't upgraded yet to accept this type of wallet connection. In any case, we've got our wallet here. We'll go to an app that does support connecting the smart wallet, which is Moonwell, and then we'll connect wallet. From here, it says, what do you want to connect? I want to connect Coinbase wallet, not the extension. That's different. That's the normal seed phrase. We want the Coinbase wallet. So we'll click that. And then what it should do is search for my wallet that I've got, right? So I've got that here connecting with this which is my smart contract wallet that we set up because Moonwell accepts this. So I'm going to approve and that's connected. So what you should see here is your wallet is connected. We're on the base network and then you can go ahead and use the app as you want. So if you want to go to, you know, lend out some USDC or anything else, you can do that right here and you'll sign transactions just like you saw before. So when the transaction is to be signed, you can just do your biometrics and it signs the transaction for you. Coinbase aren't unique in setting up a smart contract wallet with passkeys. I'll leave a video guide on setting up Trust Wallet in this way as well if you want. And the exchange bonus links up at the top of the description. I'm James, it's MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.